Mia is asking, have you seen Mohammed Hijab's fiasco before the Chinese embassy in London? He protested for the right cause, but made a total clown show of it. So I haven't okay. seen this. Guys, you are going to be, this is this is real. This is as raw as it gets. Okay, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, okay. By the way, I, I, I don't know. I actually haven't, you know, seen this as well. I just saw, like, maybe people talking about it, right? I need but, popcorn. Uh, I need something to yeah. hold. <laughs> I just want to say, guys, I still support, like, we support the cause. Like, we support them pressuring the Chinese government. Um, you know what? Actually, the fact that he, we're making fun of Mohammed Hijab for, for doing what he did, um, let that be a way for us to bring att more attention to the cause that they're supporting. Like, the, the fact that they're pressuring the Chinese government. Like, what I'm trying to say is that us making fun of Mohammed Hijab, if we end up making fun of Mohammed Hijab for this, is not a dismissal of how important this cause is okay let do, we're not making light of um the campaign they have against the chinese government that deserves attention and in fact we support mohammed hijab uh in his fight against the chinese government and bringing attention uh to the the, the plight of muslims in china okay the your muslims in china so thank you for that however this is this is this is supposed to be pure cringe and we're going to enjoy that uh together okay this is good. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right all right all right let's go a little bit back here do you have idea yes okay. well i have a flag that you can rip. oh wait 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 <gasps> okay let's oh. <laughs> okay listen and we will not live or die until we become victorious in this war Don't be You've taken your flag away. You've taken your flag away. The Chinese communist flag. Oh. Oh. Oh my. You're taking your flag, the Chinese communist flag. Okay, so you're like, you took the flag away. Okay. Well, I have a flag that you can replace your flag with. Take this Uyghur flag, you sons of bitches. <laughs> I tell you today. And he's got a fanny pack on? <laughs> you have nothing at all to offer the world. Why? Because you have already incorporated a Marxist communist system. You've already what is this? Okay, so from all the excuses in the world that you could have for taking off your shirt, this was the most bizarre one that I could like, what? Like you took your <laughs> flag away. He, yeah, and then like he just goes on the rest of this entire thing with the shirt. Wait, <laughs> isn't this is isn't this against Islam? Like, isn't he supposed to be covering his aura or whatever? <laughs> I thought his, the male aura is from the navel to the 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 top oh. of the knees, and his fanny That's pack what? is covering his navel. <laughs> 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 You're right. That's why he has the fanny pack because he's supposed to be covered as lovingly, supposed to be covered from the navel down. So this is Islamic. Good job, Muhammad. Good job. Uh, <laughs> I was. I thought he was supposed to be fit. What happened? Like he keeps bragging about working out and all. Like, does he think like this is fit? Anyways, let's. I mean, there could be a lot of muscle underneath. It's just not. Lean. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is what happens. Look at that go... might. Look at the yeah. might of the Uma in his this, body. This is what happens when you think fitness is just about going to the gym, but not having a proper diet. Okay, guys, <laughs> uh, having a proper diet is more important than going to the gym. Okay, when you go to the gym, but don't eat right, this is the result. Take this wig off like this flag. Hold on, hold on. You've, you've taken your flag away. <laughs> read like Reza, like this is not a job. <laughs> Muhammad Hijab, this is the opposite of it. Where's your hijab, Muhammad Hijab? Like what is like what is this? I don't even understand the logic here. You taking your flag away? Well, I have a flag for you. Like this is like this is like this screams like I want I wanted an excuse to take off my shirt in public one day. And this is this gives me the opportunity. But guys, if you ever want to act manly and like like you know, like uh 
alpha or something make sure you don't have a fanny pack on right is that like uh, that, that like was men? just <laughs> like the reveal the reveal of the fanny pack because <laughs> like, there's like it's it's the fanny pack is it's really not manly <laughs> I know, like at least wear it to the side, like push it to the side. But that's more proper. I, I gotta... Taking your flag away, the Chinese communist flag. Look at this. Well, I have a flag that you can replace your flag with. Oh my god. Take this Uyghur flag, you son of a bitch! Oh, god. I tell you today. I think he was expecting That's... more of a response because he starts taking off his shirt and the crowd is kind of quiet. <laughs> and he's like, I you think saw that picture? And think... then people are like, ah, talk me. <laughs> I think this played in his head a lot more, a lot better than what it looked like. Like, I think yes. like the way he was imagining this came out a lot more alpha, a lot yes. more manly. Like, oh my God, like, like he's like, a, he feels like a, like a warrior in this battle. Ah, take off my ah, take this like but then it wouldn't happen it was like man it didn't guys here's you know nothing is more cringe than trying to be alpha in my opinion you know True. you know this is why daniel Heinrich also has been so cringely recently like is this chat is this alpha are you acting like a beta like if you're joking that's, daniel that... hakikaju talk about sway boys i'm like this doesn't sound right coming out of your mouth. <laughs> no, no, like, guys, okay, so if you are joking about being alpha, like, if you're, like, not actually trying to be alpha, but, like, making fun of this whole alpha beta thing, I think then it's fine for you to be like, oh, look at me, I'm being alpha. And, it's, like, you don't really mean it. You're not trying to be alpha. You're just, like, making fun of it, right? Or, like, make, you know, like oh, this is so beta, but you don't actually believe in this alpha beta bull crap, and you're just, like, joking around with somebody, right? That's fine. But if you're actually trying to be like a manly man, like, oh my God, look at me being so alpha. That is so cringe. I like, I don't even know if there's anything more cringy than people attempting to become, you know, looking and sounding and acting more manly. Like, it's so pathetic. If there was anything such, if there was anything that could be described as beta, is men trying to be alpha. That is the most beta thing, if, if there is anything that could be described as beta, is attempting to be alpha. Yeah. Yeah, like what's and supposed to make a man alpha is like to lead, protect, and provide. Like if you do those things, it speaks for itself through your actions, your character, and the way you hold yourself. You don't need to dress it up. Although yeah. as like someone who does enjoy wrestling, I, I enjoy like professional <laughs> amateur wrestling like i did appreciate the theater of this mm -hmm. did... but you need it to be in the context of that sort of performance for it to be received well i mean like just a few weeks ago i was yeah, at a wrestling show the at an abandoned the crowd train station needs... and i was losing my mind the crowd the needs to also that. be trained and expecting like knowing what to do like this was like just this felt it felt very flat do you think he shaved his chest preparing for this The, I don't. I, don't ooh, I, I think uh, you're right. <laughs> I don't. <gasps> you're right. I, <laughs> I think he was planning this. I think he was planning this. I don't think like. I don't think Muhammad Ajab is like a hairless man, and I don't. I don't know. I think like. I think like you know it's. It doesn't look like he trimmed. You know, sometimes you just trim with the machine just because it's just get too bushy. He just looks like he completely shaved it off. He just wanted to look like a completely hairless. He wanted to show that muscle definition as much as he yeah. could. Yeah. Do you think he's wearing the fanny pack because he's he's conscious about the fact that he has a giant belly? He just wanted to cover that part. I think that's a, the purpose of the fanny pack is that well, and it's also covering his aura, his temptation. Yes. No, but I think the actual, I think he unintentionally became more Islamic because he's covering his, below his <laughs> navel. But I think the actual, I'm guessing the actual intention is like he looks at himself in the mirror and he's like, he wants to be like this muscular dude that goes to the gym and he's strong. Like he, talk, like he acts like that. 
always like being alpha and everything, but he looks at himself and he sees like his belly makes him f- makes himself feel insecure. And I think that's why he's covering his fa- uh, covering it with a, with a fanny pack. That's my guess. I think. That's oh, okay. Mir- that's okay. Oh. Mir Jala is saying Bobby. Arabs Arabs that earn that hair. No, I'm not shaming him. I think I, I I'm guessing that maybe he's insecure about it. I'm like, I mean, Look, actually, not that okay. Bad. <laughs> if some if somebody is like um, fat, I'm not body shaming them. I'm health shaming them. There's a difference. Health shaming. Okay, guys, if you are if you if you are fat, it's more important to get rid of the fat than gaining the muscle. Okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.